lockdown in the UK. I am just on my way to pick up my boyfriend. We're in a support bubble together. Wanted to go for our last sort of woodland walk this lockdown because we've been doing really well. We've been going for really long um, autumnal woodland walks almost every day that it hasn't been raining. So today we're gonna do our last one. Um, we're gonna go to a woods that's near us that we've never been to. We're gonna go and check that out. Apparently there are some wild boar and wild horses. So I'm a little bit scared because when I last come from wild horses, I didn't really know how to get past them. So that should be interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you along with me on my week. I am due back to work in three days. So we come out of lockdown technically on Wednesday, but I don't work Wednesday. So I am back to work on Thursday. So stick with me and follow my vlog this week one. Okay, so. Um, we made it to the woods, but we got a bit lost on the way. Um, but we ended up putting over and it turned out it was literally just like two seconds a bit further down. We've been walking for like 40 minutes at the moment and it's absolutely freezing today. We haven't seen any wild boar or wild horses yet, so that is a plus because I'm not sure I can outrun one of those. But I did squat, but luckily I didn't wee on a field mouse. It's raining like a lot heavier now, but good thing I've got my hat on because I just washed my hair today. Um, so I think we're nearly at the end of the walk and then plan for the rest of the day is to literally just go to Tesco, do a little bit of a food shop, maybe get some bits from my mum as well. And then yeah, just chill I think. We're back home now, it's half five in the evening, we just went to Tesco and I got some baking bits because I'm going to try and give the Kinder Bueno cookie bars a go. Um, I saw it on... Um, El Darby's channel and I think it's a Jane patisserie recipe so I'll try and find the links and put them below um, so the ingredients for it are plain flour corn flour we've got light brown sugar here white granulated sugar I've got two packets of the Kinder Bueno bars and then two packs of the chocolate unsalted butter some vanilla essence bicarbonate soda salt and an egg actually went pretty well um, I have my sisters and my boyfriend help me out um, and it's currently just in the oven and it smells amazing so I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out we've just ordered um, like a Turkish takeaway so hungry I can't wait but I will show you what the finished cookie bar looks like this looks amazing it went so well it looks unreal and it smells so good so we're doing the first cup oh my god it looks so gooey it looks so good so this is the finished product as you can see it went so well and i'm so happy um, as I said, I will leave the link to the recipe down below, so give it a try yourselves. This is a really unflattering angle, but we are all in a massive food coma at the moment. Um, I didn't even finish my full piece of the cookie bar, but it, yeah. It was so sickly, but amazing, so I highly recommend trying it out. So I will link the full recipe and a list of the ingredients that I use down below so you can go try it out for yourself. Good morning, it is um, Tuesday, so it's the last day before lockdown ends. 
I am um, just having my tyres changed on my car because um, they're quite bad and then I've got my MOT on Friday so just getting that sorted out today um, and then I think I'm going to go and find some lights to go in the front of our house um, so yeah um, last time I spoke to you I, I was at the tyre place so I got two of my tyres changed and um, we then went and quickly picked up some lunch we've just been round the range to pick up some Christmas lights for the front of our house um, and then just pop to home base to get a few bits for that as well and then just gonna go home my boyfriend's gonna put the lights up on the house and I will probably wave to him from the window and be all nice and warm inside <laughs> um, also I literally look like massive catfish now because yesterday I had no makeup on and today I do so this is the other Alice and also apologies to my nails because yesterday in the baking clip I realised how horrendous they look but I'm actually due to get them done tomorrow when everything opens again. Hello so we're back home now um, my boyfriend has been doing the lights on the front of the house and they look really cute so I'll put a little clip in in a moment. All we're literally doing tonight is chilling I believe basically what we did last night apart from ended up baking but to be honest we are in lockdown so what really is there to do can't wait till the restaurants reopen again so we can go out for our date nights because i'm sure everyone is the same they are long overdue to be honest though i am really craving a domino so we might do like a two for tuesday deal tonight which would be nice everything is back open tomorrow it's as normal as it can be um we're in tier two in our area so to be honest i think the only change is that you have to have like a main meal when like drinking in a pub or restaurant if you're having alcohol i think that's sort of like the only difference but yeah and it's the first of december today so i can finally open my advent calendar so i decided to do a voiceover for this bit to show you my boyfriend's hard work in comes my hand from the right hand side but he's trying to ignore that as best as you can i was just trying to cover up the house name and number but look at what a good job he did it looks so cute like a little christmas crotto not quite that far I thought I'd show you how cute this Christmassy mug is. Again, ignore the nails, have acrylics done tomorrow. Um, look how cute the Santa Claus mug is. It was from Asda and I think it was about four pound. Um, oh, and then the Yankee candle is just the um, apple cinnamon cider one. That's actually my mum's candle. Here are my little, little doggies. They wanna get in the vlog, clearly. So this is Yogi Bear, <laughs> um, he's one uh, literally in two days and this is Ralphie, Ralphie is five. Um, so we got Ralphie first about two years ago, we got him literally a couple of weeks before Christmas and then we got Yogi this year in January when he, it was like the end of January, he basically turned like eight weeks old so we got him. So these are our two little fur baby chihuahuas gorgeous boys they're a bit hungry let's do their food in a minute pizza is here i just got a just a standard cheese and tomato pizza but it is my favorite um and then of course the garlic and herb dip you can't have it without to be honest i should be avoiding this pizza at all costs really because i'm actually um like newly lactose intolerant literally this year so it's quite bad but i can't bring myself to have the vegan pizza yet but if you've tried it let me know because i might give it a go next time good morning everybody it is wednesday morning today so lockdown 2.0 is officially over um so everything is reopening today as far as i'm aware and as normal as it possibly can be i am on my way to get my nails done finally because they are absolutely disgusting they're like little stumps so i just decided to cut them all down and just thought I'm gonna get acrylics put back on for Christmas and I'm gonna be back to my normal self with the beautiful long nails. <laughs> and so that is the plan. I personally don't go back to work until tomorrow, but my boyfriend is going back to work today. So today I'm just by myself. Everyone is going absolutely crazy before Christmas as per, but obviously this time it's a lot worse because we've been in lockdown for four weeks. Also, I just wanted to say I'm so, happy in myself that i've decided to finally start vlogging start a youtube channel i've wanted to start a channel since i was about 15 or 16 and the very first person i started watching was zoe sug um on her zoella channel actually that's a lie i when i was 11 i think 11 or 12 i first discovered youtube I was in like year seven and I used to watch a girl called Sarah XX Lou 
and I've tried finding her videos so many times over probably the last year or two years because I just suddenly remembered and I was like oh my god I used to love that girl and that's when I first that she was the very first person that I saw and thought people actually make videos of themselves and put them on YouTube it was it was really strange I then found Zoella and she inspired me massively I ordered myself a MacBook I got a camera as a present one Christmas because I really wanted to just be serious and set it all up but I just never had the confidence but I just decided like now is the time we're coming up to the end of 2020 it's been a bit of a rubbish year as a whole so what better time to start a channel and to make myself happy than now and I actually mentioned it to my friend a couple of years ago I said to her that I really wanted to start a channel just do what is making me happy because my job doesn't make me happy but not many people's jobs do I suppose so I just wanted it as a bit of a outlet and something to do in my spare time and something to focus on because I don't really have a hobby really so it would just be a hobby for me to put my mind to and to work on I've just decided I'm gonna start it now start it with the vlogmas and then just focus on it for 2021 I'm really excited so stay tuned has anyone been watching any Christmas films lately I'm loving Netflix Christmas films at the moment I think Netflix are really bringing just such cozy cute Christmas film I've watched Christmas made to order um, and I've watched all of the Christmas princes I think there's three of them so I've watched all of those um, and then I've recently just watched the newly released Princess Switch with Vanessa Hudgens and I have loved that girl since so she was in High School Musical. My best friend and I through secondary school, we were absolutely in love with High School Musical and everything around it. So we were Vanessa Hudgens number one fans. So when I saw that she was doing Christmas films, I just thought, oh, so exciting. It's like my childhood idol and she's bringing out cozy Christmas films. So what more could I want? I also, the other day, I watched the Holiday Rush, I think it's called, um, and it's got Darlene Love in it, who um, sings that really famous Christmas song. Yeah, definitely check out um, those films that I've mentioned. I had Instagram since I was 17, I believe, when it first came over to the UK. Um, my friend Amelia actually introduced me to it, and described it as something that you just used to edit your photos so I was doing that just editing pictures um, putting the little filters on and then I was just posting it but I didn't really know what I was posting it on who I was posting it to I thought it was just like a private Instagram page or something just somewhere for me to store edited pictures and then Instagram absolutely blew up and so yeah I had it for years and years and years and it got to about I think two months now yeah so two months ago um, I just was in quite a bad place mentally um, and I just thought do you know what I'm gonna get rid of Instagram not that I personally felt it had direct effect on mental health for me um, but I had so many people have said before how having like a social media detox has really helped them and to be honest two months of no Instagram and I feel really good for it. I do miss it sometimes though in the way that some of my friends that I no longer keep regular contact with like, are missing out on their life and also following people from YouTube for example or people that I've had on Instagram for years I now suddenly don't have a connection with them so I do miss it in that way so sometimes I do think that I may get it back soon but maybe that'll be something that I do in January or something but it's been really good to just have a couple of months out and just focus on myself focus on my boyfriend my family and just appreciate the smaller things in life and I think lockdown's really done that for us for everyone in general just stripping back to the basics spending quality time with your loved ones and just doing cute walks together baking watching films um i even played some board games the other night with my sisters and my boyfriend and it was just so lovely and that's just everything that's kind of been sucked up now in today's world you don't really 
you don't get that quality time with each other and I think these lockdowns have really brought people together um, I know maybe it's done the opposite for some people and maybe relationships have broken down perhaps for some people in lockdown but I think in general it's really brought people together so I am really grateful for that it's a man that I've driven past that you just stared at me and thinking why are you talking to yourself and having all these conversations whilst you're driving <laughs> excited I'm loving my life hun <laughs> oh god how embarrassing so I'm just arriving now into the town um, to get my nails done so I'm gonna stop this clip here and I will be back with you after okay so I've just got home and let the dogs out um, and I just thought I'd show you my nails look how cute they are they're like a pre-Christmas design I'm gonna go all out full festive probably the week or a few days before Christmas so these are just subtle um they're really girly so as you can see nude white and a bit of glitter there and I absolutely love them I think they're adorable as I said my boyfriend's gone back to work so tonight I am just chilling at home um I need to wrap just a few small presents um that I have left and I will probably just get all cozy light some candles and just relax this is my bunny, um, her name is Thumper Crush because her fur looks like crushed velvet. I have had her now um, since 2017 and she is four years old. Her birthday was in October. She is the softest thing you have ever felt in your life. <laughs> She's listening to me. Um, I've just fed her and up comes the puppy. Hello, Yogi Bear. Um, I'm really lucky actually because the dogs get on so well with um, the rabbit, like in the summer, if, um, if the rabbit's hopping around the garden or something they just don't even mind her so yeah it's really cute and this little one is one years old tomorrow so he's gonna finally be a big boy Thumper is a house bunny in general she's well behaved the only time she's noisy is like i said if she's really hungry and she can hear me downstairs and she'll gnaw in her cage and it's like a call to me to feed her um or sometimes if she's in a bad mood which is really weird but she gets in a bad mood she'll literally just make the most noise that she possibly can when I'm asleep and she'll dig and dig and dig in her cage and as if she's like renovating it's really weird but apart from that she's such a well-behaved bunny and she's just so cute she is literally like my best friend here's my little advent calendar which uh, my boyfriend got me so I need to find number two actually oh my god I'm blind and he's probably found it already oh my goodness number two ah found it it is a lint advent calendar because lint is like my favourite chocolate. It's so creamy and it's just my absolute favourite. And you get these little tiny um, like truffle balls, I believe. Um, yeah, they're just the right amount, I feel like. You might actually be wondering, did this girl just... Yes? I will feed you. I will, I'm going to feed you. Yeah, so you might be thinking, didn't this girl say yesterday that she's actually lactose intolerant? Yes, I did. And I should be avoiding anything with lactose in it, to be honest, because it makes my life so much easier and helps me to avoid the aftermath. I do take, um, I think they're called lactase enzyme tablets from Holland and Barrett, and they do work really well. I just have to remember to take them before I eat anything that's got like dairy lactose in it. And as I said, my intolerance to lactose and dairy, I don't know if it's the same thing, that's why I'm saying both, that only started literally this year. So... I haven't had it properly diagnosed, but it is just dairy that sets me off. But the only reason I haven't been to doctors yet is just because I'm thinking these lactase tablets, they do help me quite a lot. So as long as I'm managing it at the moment, I don't really want to waste any of the doctor's time. I mean, with what's going on at the moment. So I'm just going to leave it as long as I can and just try and manage it for myself. All the presents are now wrapped. I've got a nice glass of homemade sangria, um, which was made by our friends from work. Um, so thank you to them. I'm now just going to get ready for bed because I'm up really early in the morning. So I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. Um, it is absolutely freezing today. It is only currently four degrees and apparently it snowed overnight. So Christmas is coming and winter is finally here. So I didn't film yesterday purely because all I did was work in the morning and then when I went home I did absolutely nothing so there wasn't anything exciting to film. Plan of action today, I'm not actually off but it is about 20 past 9 in the morning and I'm just on my way to take my car in for its MOT. So fingers crossed that all goes okay. And then this afternoon I am working again. 
So it's a bit of a short one today. There isn't much going on, unfortunately, but I guess that's what happens when you do work full time alongside trying to do vlogging. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will try and film as much as I can for the rest of the week. Yesterday was my puppy's first birthday, so he's officially a big boy. It's so sad. My mum ordered him a little birthday hat and some bunting and he had a little bandana that said birthday boy on it. I'm just now putting up to the garage where my car is getting done so I'm going to leave this here and then I'll be with you after. So I've just picked up my car from the garage and it passed so that's all good. I am now just about to go to McDonald's um, just to get a drive through breakfast as it is about half ten and they're doing breakfast till eleven o'clock now. So I think I am going to get just an egg and cheese McMuffin because I'm a vegetarian so there aren't really many options for me at McDonald's anymore um, but funny enough they do more vegetarian options at breakfast time I've found than they actually do um, at lunch time so looking a little bit more presentable this time because I've actually put my makeup on so I'm just on my way to work now I literally just got a McDonald's breakfast went home chilled, watched some YouTube and wrapped some more presents. Lighting isn't that great on this drive because the sun is very very low right now and there's trees and everything everywhere so I've got all the shadows on my face um, but I actually used an old favourite today. I um, My foundation is Estee Lauder and my shade is Tawny and it's such a good foundation. I haven't worn it in ages. Um, I usually go between um, if I wear makeup. Max Studio Fix or um, my new foundation that I use is The Ordinary. Um, it was a recommendation I saw on uh, one of Jordan Lipscomb's videos and it's actually a really good foundation. It's so affordable and it does the job. Max Studio Fix absolutely love. I love the smell of it as well which sounds really weird but I actually ran out of that so I do need to get some more but I stopped wearing makeup for a while. Um, I don't know why. To be honest most of this year I haven't really worn any makeup up i love how it looks when it's on but i can just never be bothered but the last week i think i've managed to wear makeup every day um apart from the other day when i literally just stayed at home and did nothing so i'm making an effort with myself so i thought i'd pull out my estee lauder double wear and give that a go and yeah i definitely still love it i i think it's my favorite actually um the ordinary is good for like the more affordable foundation more sort of um, high street price range I'd say and then Estee Lauder is obviously a bit more luxury. I haven't really got anything on my lips I've literally just got lip liner which is um, MAC stripped down I usually um, go between MAC Blankety um, Taupe Velvet Teddy or my favourite is Yash um, but because I'm going to work I'm going to be wearing a mask I literally just thought I'll just stick some lip liner on because you're not going to see it anyway so again I do apologise for the horrendous lighting and all the shadows we've got going on finding being free again out of lockdown it is um two days now since lockdown ended and i went around the shops today but luckily for me actually it was quite early in the morning obviously when i dropped my car off so no one was really out there wasn't any queues anywhere so i actually had it quite lucky this drive is just not a vibe because look look at the sun <laughs> i can't even see a thing i'm having to kind of like pull myself up a bit and my seat's on the highest level as well so i've heard that primark and i don't know if a few other stores are doing it but they're doing like a 24 hour day how exciting 24 hour primark love that my favorite primark store is the one in blue water which i think has only been there for a year maybe two years now and it is absolutely huge i love it but it's been almost impossible to get in there since the first lockdown ended because the queues are just huge now because obviously they have like a very limited capacity that they're allowed in store so it's very hard to get in there but my local Primark is still really good so I do go in there from time to time as well so if you're in the same tier as me which is tier two what are your thoughts on everything of the uh, no mixing of households indoor and then I think it's six people can mingle together outside and then also the rule of having to have a main meal when you want to drink something alcoholic in a pub bar or restaurant so what is everyone's thoughts on that it's a bit odd and i feel like it might be a bit difficult this time of year because obviously this is a time when people get it together they want to see their friends and family people want to go for a festive drink at the weekend and it isn't so much possible anymore we do have to remember though that we are lucky to have our health and to have people that we care about and love around us. Oh, there's a girl walking in the road. 
to work now so i need to just end this video here and i will see you again later bye so i'm back from work now and i've got my cute beauty and the beast pajamas on my miss pots and chip um it's quite late but i'm so hungry so um i'm going to make a really nice cream pasta that i found the recipe for on tiktok i can't actually remember the name of the lady um but i will try and find the link and then i'll pop it down below so you can follow it um i believe she made it with chicken though but i'm vegetarian so i literally just make it with veg um so i'll show you what you need so this isn't the exact ingredients that the lady on tiktok used it's kind of um inspired by her recipe but with my little twist i like to put tender stem broccoli in the pasta um, you need one clove of garlic one pepper of your choice i do prefer red peppers but um just got this orange one at the moment so that's fine um it depends how much onion you want to put in it but i usually go for about i'd say maybe half of this amount um you need some parmesan for the sauce my pasta of choice is tagliatelle but obviously you can use what you like garlic infused olive oil normal oil is fine but again just my preference you need double cream to make the sauce and then for the seasoning you need salt pepper paprika and crushed chilies and yes like i said before i am lactose intolerant but i do take my lactase enzyme tablets so I'm usually okay with this pasta and the sauce. Once you've chopped everything up, um, you just wanna throw it into a frying pan and then season um, with the salt, pepper, paprika, and the chili flakes. Um, also on the bottom, I've obviously put the um, garlic infused olive oil and the pasta's about to start cooking away there. And you literally just wanna um, fry this all together for three minutes. After you've done that, you need to pour in the cream, a handful and a half of Parmesan, and then you stir that all in together for three minutes. And then that's when you add the pasta to it. recipe and had a pasta for yourself because it is so delicious i'm now just about to go to bed and i will see you tomorrow good night good morning today is sunday it is currently um 20 past nine in the morning excuse my morning voice um i'm so tired but for some reason i've woken up quite early considering the time i actually went to sleep so just having a lazy one today currently catching up on some um vlogmas i'm watching steph toms at the moment this video i'm actually editing today and then it's going live a bit later on so that's exciting my first ever video will be posted please show the video some love and remember to subscribe i'm just gonna carry on catching up on everyone's vlogmas and i will see you later look who's come to join me little ralphie he's having a bit of a a cozy sunday and then little brother Yogi Bear, he's so funny, he sleeps like a sausage, so he tries to find any nook and cranny and he wedges himself into it, so he's there all cosy. And um, we're just watching Elle Darby and Connor Swift with their doggy Herbie and Hector, so the boys are loving it. So I'm now looking a little more presentable. It's actually half five in the evening now, so that's kind of embarrassing. Um, I've literally just had such a cosy, relaxed day. I've just caught up on everyone's Vlogmas videos, had some snacks, and I'm just about to finish putting together this video and editing it. Gonna have a nice, tasty roast, and I'll begin Vlogmas week two tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.